Hey everyone, this is Sean. I am the Dungeon Master for Pushing Dragons, and I am here with an unboxing video. I recently sponsored a Kickstarter for the deck of Creepy Cryptids. It is a deck of monster cards for old school essentials. There is my cat, and I thought it would be fun to open this thing up and see what we have. So let's go ahead and do that now. I've never done an unboxing video before, so who knows what is going to happen. And there we go. All right, fine. Um, I guess the cat is going to stay in the shot. All right, so, oh, good for a promotional deal on Kickstarters and PH House Games. All right, we'll worry about that later. All right, so let's take a look. So it looks like we actually have some character sheet cards that if we wanted you uh characters could put their characters can put their stuff on these cards room for gm interpretation the family and friends who are p house games have been interpreting appalachian cryptids into tabletop games for years this latest effort reflects our personal preferences but we invite all gms to make changes as their game requires so yeah uh let's take a look and see what we have. Uh, one of the main reasons I kickstarted this is Noel, who plays Elme in our campaign, is a big fan of cryptids. So I was hoping to get some monsters to kill her character. Hopefully she will appreciate that when the time comes. All right. So, so we have uh, the devil dog. Then on the back, it gives a stat block habitat. Forest and Mountains, Stealth, Surprise, 4 and 6, Hide and Shadows, 4 and 6, Keen Senses, Pick Up Trail, 80%, Cannot Be Surprised, Terrifying, A Character Must Save versus Fear at the Beginning of an Encounter, Once for Each Devil Dog Faced. All right, so not a lot of info given. So a lot of it is to be used for the, the GM's discretion. Here we have Masked Bear. Just gonna dump these down. Fangmalia. I wish there was maybe a little bit more info to find out where these are pulled from, what legends, what lore these are pulled from. Flatwood Monster. Although I think a, a dive into Google could probably help, but uh, it's nice. That's pretty grim. We have Flying Heads. Swarm, most effective as a swarm, may attack same target at once or divide their bites. Bash, on a successful bash attack, the victim must make a save versus breath or be stunned. Infectious, bite attack of nat 20 causes additional d4 damage each round due to massive bleeding and 25% chance of becoming a flying head in three days time. That's pretty cool. So I love the artwork. I just wish there was more info giving to given to the lore of the monsters. But let's see. The, ooh, the Jersey Devil. What do we have? Krampus. I cannot even pronounce that. I'm not even going to attempt it. Oh, here we go. Mothman. Uh, I love the artwork on Mothman. This is very similar. The Merry Mushroom just released a book of uh, monsters. It's a monster manual of uh, monsters from folklore, which I have as well. I might do a, a review on that. So, like I said, I just literally received these in the mail. Today, I figured I'd do a video on them. Let me know what you think. Like I said, I love the artwork. I love the various monsters. Uh, I just wish a little bit more lore was given, although I love the fact that everything is on one card. I just don't know. Just don't know how they would go about adding that much more information to the cards. But there you go. If you have been to our live shows, be prepared to see one or two of these show up. Like I said, I'm really impressed with the artwork and I think I can do some damage with these. So that is all for this unboxing video. And we will 
Talk to you soon. Mm-hmm.